researchers utilized AI to find what they say could be a better approach to accelerate the method involved with separating plastic essentially, Vice reports. As definite in another paper distributed in the diary Nature, an examination group from the University of Texas at Austin changed a protein to separate the singular parts of polyethylene terephthalate PET, a normally utilized plastic that makes up a stunning 12% of worldwide waste. Stunningly, the changed catalyst likewise diminished how much time it takes for the plastic to debase from months to a simply single week. The cycle, called depolymerization, has the additional advantage of permitting the separated monomers to be reconstituted once more into virgin PEP plastic, a possibly progressive approach to reusing the galactic measures of plastic waste we collected. That all depends, however, on sorting out a solid and reasonable method for increasing and industrialize the interaction. The way that PET plastic can be turned around into virgin plastic is nothing to joke about. This enjoys upper hands over customary belt reusing, Hal Alper, teacher in compound designing and creator on the paper, told Vice. If you somehow happened to dissolve the plastic and afterward remold it, you begin to lose the uprightness of the plastic each round that you proceed with reusing. This new strategy, be that as it may, can be utilized to make virgin PEP plastic every single time, Alper added. We've had some significant awareness of chemicals that can separate plastics since no less than 2005, as per Vice, yet large numbers of them just work under quite certain circumstances. Luckily, Alper and his group says the new compound works in a wide range of temperatures and pH levels. The group presently has the troublesome undertaking of figuring out how to create their catalyst moderately and at a modern scale. Yet, before then, at that point, the specialists are wanting to efficiently give it a shot on the immense wide range of PEP plastics that can be tracked down stacking up in landfills.